I can't help but wonder, is this the beginning? Or is this the end? My meeting these people, the time I've spent with them, something has changed. It's like something is about to explode. That's why, why I must go as fast as I can to Kitabayashi, where Mataichi and the others have gone. Even if what awaits me there is something horrible. of the Lady of the Point. Mm. Yes, my lord. It has all the women, from the head lady in waiting to the maids, in a panic. There's been some talk. They're wondering if it might be the ghost of Lady Kaede. So you're saying that my mother is the one behind this curse? <laughs> Apparently, some of these women are spreading this rumor in the village. They're talking to their friends. What shall we do? Kill them. My lord? Maid or lady in waiting, I don't care. None shall be spared. Is that clear to everyone? Any person spreading rumors of a curse by the Lady of the Point, regardless of who they are, shall suffer immediate punishment by decree of Donjo, Lord of the Castle. Oh, please, my lord, have mercy. I will administer the punishment. Those who are guilty will be burned alive at the stake. Would all you people like a little sample of what I'm talking about beforehand? It's the Lord's maids. They began the rumor, and now they must be dealt with. Do with them as you wish. <laughs> It's our shrine! How could this have happened? It's my lady spirit! She's put a curse on it! She's the lady of the point! How dare you! <gasps> Do not 
not believe in this curse. Lord Donjo forbids it by his proclamation. Uh, what was that? It came from the castle's family temple. It must be. Uh, it's the curse. The whole town is cursed by the Lady of the Point. <laughs> Do you hear what I hear? The enraged voice of the Lady of the Point? Good people, do you hear it? Sounds from the woman who remains trapped here? If you hear her, then pray. Pray to calm her fury so she can be at peace. Her spirit is raging. Over there. Pray, pray with all your might, because those who do not pray shall lose their life. But prayer alone will not save you. What should we do? Master Exorcist, we beg you to tell us! If your intentions are pure, use the miraculous power of these sutra talismans to heighten your prayer. <laughs> One sheet, which is a mere 15 mon, is the source of life itself. Here, take these and distribute them to your friends in the castle. Thank you, my lady. Now that I've gotten myself involved in this, I can't seem to get out. For heaven's sake, isn't that what the author is always doing? I criticized him for it. Better not anymore. Well, if I'm not mistaken, it looks like it worked. Huh? Where is the author? Say, now that you mention it, I haven't seen him. You don't suppose he... <gasps> Samurai was looking for a place to die. If I can help it, this won't be the place. So you're involved in this, Shiragiku? Or should I say Totsta? How nice you remember me as well. <laughs> you can't escape. What are we going to do with him, sis? He's working with those meddlers who showed up in the village. A short while ago, he was safe, but he foolishly chose to seek out danger. So here he is in Lord Donjo's drawings of hell. Just as I thought, he's reenacting the prince. Reenacting? <laughs> Lord Donjo has no interest in such things. Take a good look at these miserable devils. They're actually part of the first group of humans that we brought here. Some were good people chosen from this domain. See if you like the good people now. At first, in order to stay alive, they reluctantly tortured, raped, and killed. Now they relish it. It's pure enjoyment for them. <laughs> what are you? Lord Danjo is conducting tests on people. How far from goodness can humans fall? And at this point, when goodness has no meaning, what are they after? At the moment, none of this makes any sense to you. But it will. You can be sure of that. <laughs> Stop this! Eventually you'll get it. Eventually you'll get it. <laughs> Master Momosuke. Huh? Ukon? They didn't kill you. You're all right. Yes, and I was able to see my wife. That's great. Then your wife's still alive. They let her live because she wasn't due to give birth like the woman in the drawing. But she is completely different. She has no feelings for me now. Mm. Be that as it may, the opportunity to see my wife again was thanks to you. For that, I am eternally grateful. I didn't do much. I want you to see something over there. Is that what I think? Mm -hmm. They're rebuilding the flame lance. We have to find a way to stop that thing. 
In that case, I guess you could lend a hand. Uh. Ogin? To the rescue. You're certainly a lot of trouble. Uh. <laughs> I don't want you two to make any moves until our plan is complete. Just wait here quietly. How long will it take? Not very long. So don't get any ideas about running off and saving your wife by yourself. <laughs> We're not that brave. Most of all, I'm afraid of myself. Huh? When I saw those atrocity prints, I'm not sure I felt repulsed enough by them. I kept wondering if I could do those things. Imagine entertaining those thoughts. I'm afraid I've become jaded. You have spent a great deal of time with us in our world, Arthur. You've seen so many awful things you're no longer surprised by them. Don't worry about yourself. No matter what happens, you're still a good human. What's this? They're all dead, just as the exorcist said! Pray, pray with all your might. The final dreaded day of the curse draws near. The Lady of the Point's rage shall become ever more intense before it strikes. Master Exorcist, help us! Will there be any warning before this disaster strikes? On that day, the clouds will open up. You mean it's gonna rain? One rainy evening when the cosmic balance of light and dark is upset shall be the moment of peril. If you wish to avoid the ultimate disaster, then you must purify your homes and pray to Buddha. <laughs> You overdid it, Mata. As clever as we are, we've never produced rain for any of our theatricals. <laughs> Don't worry, feel this wind. We're due for a downpour any minute. So if we're going to have the roar of thunder in the air, why not take advantage of it? Yeah, that is smart. Now that you mention it, I can feel it. Day of the Curse. Yes, my lord. The rumor is that disaster will strike on a rainy night. And it sure is raining. Our own castle staff is leaving one by one. They appear to be headed toward their homes. It's the curse. The day of the curse is here. It's true, just as the exorcist said. This is the result of a wandering exorcist machinations. This is quite appropriate weather for a disaster, don't you think so, Kaburagi? Yes, my lord. Is the Flame Lance ready? It will be. Soon. Tonight. The time has come we will test fire it. Excuse me, my lord, but I've heard the Flame Lance is so powerful it can destroy an entire city. The test firing should be secret. Kaburagi, you seem to have misunderstood something. My lord? You... you mean... Lord, the foreign beast Master Kaburagi asked for has arrived. Oh. The foreign beast has arrived. What? What's that? <laughs> Master Momosuke, I think this could be a... Reenactment! <sighs> Stop! Now, my lord, this should please you. It's not often you have a chance to see something this evil. I have a new plan. Hmm? I've changed my mind. You will be devoured instead. My lord, surely you're not serious. In fact, both of you shall be devoured. <laughs> Have you gone mad? <laughs> to the end, he was blind to his own vanity. Now for the girl. No! Let her go! 
time to step in. What's happening? I am the Lady of the Point. I have a fury that knows no end. Lord Danjo, we must go. It's too dangerous here. Follow me. Someone who's had enough of your evil mischief, young lady. And I have more experience than you, controlling beasts. Ah! White Hermit. Black Hermit. After them. Massimo Mosque, hurry up. Mataichi! <laughs> Shiragiku, soon it will be realized the wish that you and I share. That all will be consumed in a sea of fire. No, all will be reduced to an age of darkness. What? You do that. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mataichi! Ha! You're too late. There is nothing you can do now. You underestimate my skills. The town will fall. You can't stop it, Mata. Huh. I'll admit it's difficult. Mainly because the one who set this in motion isn't actually a human being. Huh? If he were human, he'd feel pain in his heart. But that's not possible for a specter. Isn't that right, Kyogo Kute? So you figured out who I really am. Impressive as always, my trusted agent. You three casting out the dark-hearted people one by one will not change anything. The darkness lies far deeper. There is no limit to its depth. You want everything to be swallowed by this darkness? I am merely returning things to their original state. The world as it is now is an illusion. Within the darkness there is truth. Thanks so much for all your good work. We mean that sincerely. You did an excellent job. But now I want all of you to return to the darkness which spawned you. <laughs> Mataichi! Again! <gasps> Kyogo Kute, the one who will be returning to the darkness is you! It is you 
who have underestimated the darkness of the human heart. It is far more powerful than you imagine. This fire springs from the essence of those you killed, from the darkness of those you used. All these sorrowful feelings and bitter thoughts shall now absorb you. Ourselves. The bottom line is, whoever got involved with us ended up dying. Now what, Mataichi? You can go back, Arthur, and finish your stories. Please go to the place where you belong. <laughs> I don't want to go! Momosuke. Of a breeze, moonlight dancing on the garden. It must be here somewhere, maybe around the corner. Kyogo Kute. I finally finished the hundred ghost stories and got them published, which I had so longed to do. I'm so grateful. My wife is back, and we're working on getting our love back, too. Thank you. I've spent my days thinking about the strange things I'd seen from the sidelines. However, I haven't been able to do much writing about the time I spent with Mataichi and the others just yet. That final night was the last time I saw them. But sometimes I get the feeling they're around. Evil and ambition scatter in the darkness, leaving behind dubious rumors to fly in public. <laughs> 